Fury versus Schwartz. So Ivan finally watched the boxing fight. Just one round, but right. hey, I watched it. <laughs> no, dude, I was all like, he was all like, it was one round, right? I'm like, no, nah, it was two rounds. <laughs> For me, it was a round. <laughs> I was all like, oh, come on, bro. Yeah, at least I watched it. But so you didn't even see the entrance, huh? Uh, well, I saw it, but later on, like when I saw like ESPN, like uh, just like talking about it, like a highlight, you know. Well, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was dope. Like. Yeah. Cause you know he always um, he's good at trash talking, right? Like hyping up a fight. Entertaining. He's entertaining, right? So that's number one. And then uh, he came out to fucking living in America, like uh, James Brown. So if you guys haven't seen Rocky IV, it's Apollo Creed. He comes out when he's gonna fight Ivan Drago, the Russian. He oh, comes out with Rocky IV. Yeah, it's in Rocky IV. And he comes out and he's you know with that music dancing. So this who comes out to it. So I was like, damn, that's dope. Then he comes out and, you know, he just beats up uh, Schwartz. He just couldn't really, he couldn't even touch him. Probably touched him once, right? Probably caught him once. Was it was the second round, ba like, basically the same as the first? Yeah, no, the second round was worse. The first round, he was just moving around, kind of hitting him. Uh, but the second round is where he turned it up. He ended up uh, dropping him. He changed his southpaw. Then he ended up dropping him, right? Yeah, I noticed that he didn't... Uh... Well, from the I only watched the second round, like I said, uh, Schwartz, uh, he didn't do anything. He couldn't. I mean, I was like, he what couldn't. the hell? Like he he wasn't throwing anything either. I mean, the only time he threw anything was when um, when uh, Fury uh, dodged all those punches. Like yeah. he slipped, and you know. No, he was trying from the beginning. I mean, throwing, but he couldn't. He couldn't reach him. Mm -hmm. It was just he's too good. You know, he's like um, in heavyweight, like a. Uh, well, in this time, like Ali, you know, with good footwork, and you can't, you can't hit him. That good, or, or. Well, there's no one right now in, oh, okay. in you know, heavyweight. in heavyweight boxing that can move like that. That's uh -huh. what I mean. Um. So yeah, dude, he ended up stopping him. Then after he ended up uh, singing an Aerosmith song to his wife. Oh, you didn't see that man. one? I saw it, but I didn't know what song it was. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, he killed like the, you know. Before the fight, he killed the entrance, he killed the performance, and then and then the fucking performance po after. Post fight anything? Yeah, like, whatever. damn. Hey, uh, honestly, he doesn't have a bad voice. Yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that to myself. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? You know that fool, you know he's done karaoke. So <laughs> he, probably, he probably loves singing. Yeah, dude, but that, that was a good fight. So now he said he wants to fight. Um, in September or October, one more fight, and then um, in twenty early twenty twenty, he's gonna fight um, Wilder. Wilder, yeah, he said he's coming for that green belt, the WBC belt. Um, so I don't know who else he fights during that time, and I think he said something about Andy Ruiz as well. I saw like, uh, well, I just you know how uh, people would make uh, like not a collage, just a, like a picture with like two people in it like just like if a fight is being like rumored to happen yeah. it was just a picture of andy and uh and fury like right next to each other but i was like eh, like i doubt it you know because isn't joshua gonna fight ruiz again yeah i think they're gonna do an immediate rematch it's it's up to um what well, depends how much they're gonna pay him obviously he's gonna want a lot of money for the rematch who, Which he uh, should, Ruiz. Ruiz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because then he's going to be like, oh, I'll just go fight someone else. Yeah. Because I don't think he signed the, the contract because the rematch clause, I don't think he did. I, I remember Joshua saying, yeah, I didn't even make him sign it because I don't even think. I think he 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 would just give me the immediate rematch. Uh-huh. So, that'd I don't be, know. That would be a good fight, though, Ruiz and uh, Wilder. No, not, no, not Wilder. Uh, no, Fury. no, I think Ruiz's best chance to beat those top three guys is Joshua again. I mean, because yeah, Fury is going to be hard. Uh, his footwork, his movement is is going to be hard to hit him. He's not going to be mm, like a right. Joshua where he, he stands in the pocket and trades with you. That's mm -hmm. where this has the, the best chance mm -hmm. to, to stop you. And Wilder, if you get caught by Wilder food, it's over. Fuck. Yeah. He ain't getting up. So the best thing is to do is fight Joshua. 
and you know you you I mean you beat him the first time so a good chance you're gonna beat him again so you could keep making money because you don't want to fight one of these guys and they take your titles and that's it you're gone yeah, that's true yeah then we had the what Bellator. was it oh yeah the Bellator the McDonald versus Gracie dude uh let me see where was it at let's see so fucking Pico. I saw Aaron Pico that's the first one that I saw that's that fucking sucks Pico but. gets knocked out, man. He was doing good. He went to Jackson's camp. He was, um, they implemented heavy wrestling. You know, he was just, he went for that takedown right away. You know, he uh, wasn't doing that much damage, but, you know, he was controlling the fight. But I feel like, um, like he was so heavy on wrestling that, this fool knew, like, oh, he's just going to keep ducking his head, you know? Uh-huh. Instead of just um, feel loose and just just um, do whatever is available. Don't force the takedown. It probably seemed like he was forcing the takedown too much, and that's why this fool caught on to it. Yeah, and he caught him with the Fly- jumping knee. Yeah, switch knee, huh? Flying switch knee. What was it? Yeah, uh-huh. he ran up and then fucking switched. And- Oh yeah, and that's ended up right. catching him. The other fool is undefeated, nine and zero now, or I think he was nine. No, he was eight and zero, so he's nine and zero. That sucks for Pico. Yeah, I mean, and so, so I think I saw somewhere in the comments like they give Dan as easy as opponents, but they give Pico like fucking tough ass guys. Like, why would they do that? Bellator, that's kind of stupid. Like, you're mm. that guy just got laid out his last fight. Give him a fight that he's going to get his confidence back. You give him a guy that's undefeated. I mean, fuck. Like, hey, who's, who's his manager? Like, dude, let's fucking, I mean, you know. I don't know. Either they believe in him or, yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you, I mean, do you know if Dylan Dennis is? I'm sure they're, like, they're obviously not well known. No, the guy he was Dennis fighting was, like, opponent. a three and two guy. Oh, okay. And but you know this would they give him like the guy before he fought I think he only had like one loss the one he got laid out by uh-huh. he was a, a good fighter and this was a good fighter eight and zero right yeah so it's like dude like give him a, a easier fight coming in you just got laid out mm-hmm. give him a tough ass fight. I think it's kind of um, like a lot of fighters, they make their pro MMA debut in Bellator. Like, I feel com- Bellator uh, gives, they'll do stuff like that compared to the UFC. The, uh, I don't like, oh, they'll yeah. They'll never do that. Yeah, because you see Except guys like that in the CM Punk. You see guys in the prelims, like 1 and 0 in Bellator in the prelims. Yeah, or 0. Like, yeah. Pico started his pro yeah. MMA career in Bellator, you know? Yeah. Not like a. One of these uh, local promotions like Lights Out or um, what's that like the European one? King of the Cage. King of the Cage. Yeah. yeah, Cage Rage. Cage Rage. Like stuff. Promotions like that. You know that obviously they're there to like you're a pro already, but they're there to for you to for fighters to get experience. You know, it's still not the the big leagues. Yeah. In other words. That's great. I mean, it's cool that Bellator does that, but at least like for guys like. Aaron Pico, like, make them not work their way up, like, um, build them up, you know? Yeah. Like, all his fights, he, he's fought guys that, you know, had way more experience in him. Mm-hmm. But now he's 4-3. and three. Um, But, yeah, I think he was just um, going too, too, too heavy on the wrestling where this fool ended up catching him. I mean, he was dominating. He was winning the whole fight. First, uh... First and second round, so it was in the third round where this we just ended up catching him with the knee, and then scrambling and pound right hammer fist stop the fight. That sucks because the uh, last fight, you know how obviously he got knocked out, right? Because uh, he was like trading in the pocket where, because he rocked the opponent, yeah. and instead of you know taking him down, or uh, and maybe like grounding pounding him. He, like, just got too crazy and just started training in the pocket. And where he was trading in the pocket, he was like, all right, let's say you have the guy rocked. He has him in the clinch, and he's just throwing to the body. Mm-hmm. Like, he's rocked just 
knock him out, right? Hit him in the yeah. head at least. So you could just drop him now. He's already hurt. <laughs> if he's rocked and you keep hitting him to the body, he's not going to get more rocked. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'll, you could stop him to the body. But if he's rocked, hit him in the head, he's, he's going to fall immediately. Mm-hmm. One shot in mm-hmm. the clinch. Yeah, but my point was like last time he focused more on striking rather than when he should have been focused on his wrestling. He should have this time. No, he, he should have been focused just MMA. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, like the in the beginning, just striker. Why, when you have good wrestling, mix it up? This one just wrestling. Mm-hmm. You have good strength. You have to mix it up. Yeah, I think, huh? Like GSP, mix Maybe. it up so you don't know. Oh, I don't know what's coming. He could mm-hmm. fucking. Hit me or he's going to take me down. Point is, like, I think he's been relying too much, like, solely on just one thing, like, yeah. each fight. Like, last fight, I think, like, obviously striking this fight, like you said, wrestling. You think, I think it had to do, obviously, with Greg Jackson camp, right? They yeah. Like, let's sure. go heavy wrestling now. Yeah. But, I mean, he got caught there. He was winning the fight, so, you know, you can't really complain there. Um, so, we don't know where he goes from here. Hopefully, they give him an easier fight. What is he? One, 145. 145. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they do. Then the Bantamweight World Title fight. Darion Caldwell versus Horiguchi. It was, um, damn, it was boring, bro. You thought it was boring? You don't watch it? Yeah, I mean, why? Dude, it was, the takedowns? That fool, because he didn't do nothing. Yeah, I mean, there was times when, yeah. Mo, bro, into- Caldwell, the first round, he did, it was okay. Right? He did some damage with the elbows. So he took up he took down Horiguchi way bigger than him, 5'10 versus 5'5. Five five. And the reach, obviously, he has a reach advantage. So, you know, he's he's taking him down and he's controlling Horiguchi. But he is landing some elbows, right? In the first round. In the, yeah, in the beginning. So you're like, all right, easy, right? First round. And they were mentioning this before the fight that he he does cut a lot of weight, so he might get tired. Mm-hmm. Then the second round. It's close. You probably give it a Cal- Caldwell. And then from there, the takedowns that he lands, he he didn't do nothing. He'll land the takedown. He'll just hold them. Yeah. Yeah. Now That's that you mention it. Boring. Yeah. I do remember thinking like, huh, like, well, how come like the ref hasn't like stepped in? Yeah. Even uh, Big John was saying, because like, um, what's his, what's the other guy's name? Oh, Mar- Maro. He was asking him, do you oh, send them up, John? He's all like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, like, what? Oh, do you stand them up? Yeah, he oh, was telling okay. them, do you stand them up, John? He's like, absolutely. He wasn't doing shit. People even started booing. I was here. I was like, I was falling asleep. <laughs> Damn. That's how real? boring it was. Fuck. That's how boring it was. I was just like, dude, this shit's getting me sleepy. I'm surprised I didn't um, get bored of it. Because, like, I watched all of it. And, like, usually, like, because, like... The only I'm a striking re- fanatic, so... The only reason I'll be excited was if I was betting on it. Uh, of course. <laughs> but if I wasn't betting on it, those round three, four, and five were terrible. Even yeah. round two was was like, all right. Uh, I'm like, hopefully the whole fight doesn't go like this. It's uh-huh. going to be boring. First round was was good. Second, second round, I was like, eh. Third, fourth, fifth was fucking terrible. I guess I didn't really... I guess, like I said, like I'm a striking fanatic. So, like, uh, yeah, I appreciate, like, uh, uh, people's ground game. Um, yeah, I do, but, too, but not when they're not doing shit. Yeah, but I'm trying to, like, figure... I'm trying to figure out why uh, I didn't find this fight boring like you did. But I think, like, just because of the fact that it was... Uh, uh, champion versus champion, you know, but and from like another organization, maybe just because of that. Like I was, like, that was, I was dope, interesting. I but, was interested yeah. to see. But when he was. takes him down, he was he just was holding him down, and there was nothing happening for like two minutes. Mm-hmm. No one's gonna be like, oh shit, that shit's dope. <laughs> I mean, Hor- it's cool that Horiguchi won though. Like, he's yeah, he was champ, doing the most champ, damage. Like, you know, he. They, I mean, they weren't hard punches, but he just kept landing punches. So yeah, they gave him the fight. So he's so he, now he's a Bellator champ, and he's still the Rising champ. So um, so hopefully, I think they are gonna do it. They probably have a contract where hey, you have to defend the Bellator belt over here. You just yeah, that's you crazy know. though. You know, like yeah. he's a Bellator fighter now or what? Like <laughs> yeah, special fights. He's gonna come and defend that's, his title. That's cool that they're doing that's, that. That's real cool. And it's cool. Like the president of uh, Bellator, Scott Coker, said that he was down to do UFC like cross promotion. I don't. I know that's yeah, never gonna happen. Won't. But, but that would that's be just cool, cool that he's down. 
hey, you might see it in the future. This is a, and this is the first time that this um this happened in Bellator, a cross promotion mm-hmm. that where a champ came over here to fight for Bellator title. Yeah. So now, so Hiroguchi is not two and zero against Caldwell. He submitted him in in Ryzen, and um, he just beat him by decision here. Then you have um, Archuleta. He trains with um, who, yeah, with Delisha, huh? And then Eduardo Dantas. You knocked him out, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was it was a good first round. It was a good round, and it was yeah the last. He knocked him out with what, like a second left or something? Two mm-hmm. seconds left? One or two, yeah, I think so. Because, uh, yeah, the, the, the yeah. 10 second clap. Yeah, you heard thing the 10 where, second yeah. clap. And Dantas was just uh, chasing him down. This who um, Archuleta's back was against a cage. What? Dantas threw a front kick and then uh, he just traded some punches. He and like, this would duck down and threw like yeah. that chocolate dough kind yeah, of punch. Overhand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> overhand hook or you know. That thing's always like that. Obviously, that that punch like carries a lot of power. Yeah. Behind it, but at the same time, it's uh, it's risky to throw it because you're like ducking all the way down. You know, like, you yeah. can catch a knee or a kick. Yeah, he he did kind of he didn't look at it in the um, in the beginning, like when he threw it. I felt when when he threw it, he he kind of didn't even pay attention to where he was throwing it. He kind of uh-huh. just threw it out there. Yeah, but I mean, ended up catching him, knocking him out. All right, um, what's the nut? Yeah, he didn't, he didn't get, get up for a, for a while. Yeah, he did slam his head. You know, his head. Um, oh, there you go again with the head slams on the canvas. So now, oh, and then after. Um, he was all like, Horiguchi, don't go anywhere. You know, I'm fighting for the title next. Oh, he said yeah. that? But he's a featherweight. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird that he said He'll that. He'll probably go down. down. Probably. Okay, then you got Ricky Bandejas and Patrick Mix. Um, oh, this one? I didn't end up watching this one. I didn't one. watch it either. <laughs> Ricky Bandejas. I just saw the um, the highlight. He ended up submitting him. Patrick Mix, he's 11-0. He was the the underdog. Ricky was a favorite. Ricky, I think his last fight was against Gallagher, right? No. Uh, you fought someone Archuleta. else after him? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. He beat him. He beat Archuleta. Did he? I think he beat him, no? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Archuleta has one loss, doesn't he? I think it's that one. Is that one? I think so. I don't, I don't even remember. I, I just know they fought, but I don't even remember how it went down or who won. So Patrick Mix is still undefeated. We're naked choke. I missed that fight. Then the um, Dylan Dennis, one of the goats, versus Max Humphrey. See Max, hum- yeah, Max Humphrey was three and two. Three and three you know, and people were talking attention. shit like, dude, they give. That's when they were talking about Aaron Pico. Mm-hmm. They want killers and they give Dylan Dennis bums. Yeah, and think about it when um. Pico came into Bellator, zero fights. He didn't give him a the, like like Dylan Dennis, the other guy he fought. They gave him a tough a tough guy. Yeah, but I think that was more because like he chose it. Nobody, too. yeah, nobody wanted to fight. Yeah, him. that's true. So this was at one seventy five, a catchweight fight. Um, so how seventy five? Yeah, one seventy five. I don't know why it was a catchweight fight. He fights at at um welterweight. But for some reason they made it at at 175. 175. Maybe maybe Max Humphrey is a 185 pounder, and they were like, "Oh, we'll just do 175." Um, it lo- he looked all right on um, one the striking, right? Then he ended up taking him down. And he was uh, smashing him, man. He was landing heavy ground and pound. Really, Dylan? I didn't watch this fight. Yeah, he was landing hard ground and pound. He took his back, and he was just smashing him. But and I was thinking, oh, what if he like. He wants to get the TKO, and what if he just get gases out? Because he was just throwing punches, and Big John was saying that you you want to make sure that you you get him out um, as soon as possible, right? Don't you know? Don't go for the. Uh, he's a, like, uh, I know he might want a K or a TKO, but just get him out of there. Yeah, he ended up um, submitting him. Um, what was it? Uh, a rear naked choke. Mm-hmm. Just ended up submitting him and. That was it. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing good. Yeah, I mean, two and zero. Yeah, they're building him up. Yeah, <laughs> which that's I mean that's fucked up. Start, start doing that with Pico. 
And you got Machida versus Chell Sonnen. All I got, uh, only thing I have to say, well, I got more to say, but I, okay, never mind. I, I want to rephrase that. I'm glad Chell Sonnen retired, basically, because he, I mean, did he do anything? Did he take Machida one, down once, no. or I'm tripping? No, he didn't. He didn't? No. There you go. Yeah, well, it's hard to take down Machida, man. You can't take <laughs> him down. You have to... The only way people have taken him down is, is um, is either explosive doubles or if you do grab him in the clinch, you take him down right away. It's not like you keep working in the clinch and then you end up taking him down. Like uh, I remember Romero when he took him down, he got double underhooks, but right away he took him down. Right? It's not like they were working and ended up taking him down. And Chael's older, right? Romero? They're both older, right? Yeah. Yoel well, Romero? Yeah, when he fought Machida. He fought Machida? Yeah, fucking... In UFC? Yeah. What the fuck? I have yeah. no idea. Machida, he was doing all right until this fool ended up, you know, grabbing the takedown. As soon as he took him down, just ground and pound and knocked him out. But Machida looked good. Caught him. I, I'm surprised Chill. Chill's never been laid out. He's been TKO'd, but never laid out. He, went, he caught him with that flying knee. The I don't way think he, he was laid out. When? That in this fight? No, he wasn't. That's what I'm saying. He's never been. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to with that first knee that he landed, uh -huh. that he caught Chell with. Because the way he fell, the way he fell, he just like completely fell back. I was like, oh, is he out? And no, he survived. He ended up um, surviving the, the first round, but he was getting fucked up, man. He was getting fucked up. And um, I was all like, damn, I don't think he's going to come back. So then the second round starts, and he's just moving forward, right? I mean, that's the only game plan he has. Move forward, catches him again with the with the flying knee. Yeah. Because this fool always in. ducks. He always ducks to his left when he goes for a takedown. Caught him again, and, um, you know, Got just ground and pound him. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad he retired, retired like, like I said. said. This fight and the, the, the one before, before that, who did he fight? Fatal, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Fatal. We kind of knew, like, Fatal. Yeah, like, but I'm just like. Yeah, he's old now. He doesn't. I mean, yeah, I don't think he that was a bad, a bad matchup for him. For you know, no, we need, Fedor and oh, Machida. Machida. I mean, Fedor he had no choice. Like, yeah, because it's the Grand Prix. He's the Grand Prix, right? But here, like, damn, why are you taking that fight? That's a fucking hard fight. Very hard fight. Yeah, I mean, he said he said something about he still saw himself like as a contender, you know, to fight for the title. And he said, you know, if I'm not, if I don't win this fight, like I'm reti retiring. So I think he truly still believed. Oh, that's what he said before? Before yeah, the fight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure he still believed in himself. You know, he believed that he could. Oh, I get it now. Champ. Then. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, true. Because he's not just in it just to be there. He's there to be a champ. Yeah. But, that's true. But damn, like he was, he was never champ. Or well, was he, he was WEC. Yeah, but they they fucked him over because Paulo Filo. Um, they first fought once. The first time, he ended up getting submitted. Right. The second time they fought, Paulo Filo missed weight, so the title's not on the line because mm -hmm. you missed weight, and then he gets dominated by Chael. That sucks. Yeah. You're so you're, you should be the WEC champ. So in my eyes, he's still a champ. It's kind of like seeing um, John Jones not being undefeated because he got disqualified Matt Hamill. With one, <laughs> he landed one elbow, uh, 12 to 6 elbow. No warning, just you're disqualified. Like, I, I don't believe that shit. Nah, bro, like, Jones is not undefeated, bro. <laughs> that's why I think, like, Chael, he is, a, like, he was a WEC um, champ. champ. Then you got uh, Roy McDonald and Neiman Gracie. Yeah, that was a great fight. Yeah, it was good. I was, I was surprised by Neiman Gracie striking. I was surprised by Rory McDonald's ground game. <laughs> I thought, I mean, there was times when I was like, oh, fuck, like, Neiman's like. It was always scary. Yeah. It was always scary the when ground. they were on the ground. But so when he had his back. Yeah, no, when he had that knee bar. Oh, yeah, it was a I was like, oh, twice yeah. when he did it. I was like, fuck. Like, but nah, Rory just stayed calm and, like, was able to. Work, work his, his way, way out of it, like spin out. It was tight, bro. I thought it was probably gonna be over. I was yeah, like, oh I no. Too. 
happened, happened in the, the beginning, beginning, I believe. Yeah, the first um, the first big attempt was uh, that knee bar. It was probably like in the second round or something. First or second round. Mm. Then, then another, another one towards, towards the end. end. Yeah. But but the the second one, he was also going like for a heel hook. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't like as dangerous. Mm-hmm. It wasn't as deep. But that first one was scary. I was like, damn, hopefully his knee's not fucked up. And then he ends up, you know, beating him. Um, but I was surprised by his, by his striking more. Gracie, mm-hmm. he was la- landing those jabs, landing those uh, those leg, leg kicks. kicks. Yeah, yeah, it was hurting Rory. He even told, told his corner, corner something like, oh, I'm feeling them or something like that. Oh, yeah, like his his uh, his shin or his calf. Because um, for us, it's all like, don't look at it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's all like, look. Don't look at it, and they're telling them, you know, it is like, uh, it's not looking good, you know, but, you know, keep whatever. He was telling them the game plan. But I, I think it's also, he's he's throwing so many kicks because he's like, take me down. You know, there's other guys that probably won't throw as many kicks because they're afraid of the takedown. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So this was just like, oh, yeah. going to keep throwing the, the takedown. The, the kick. kick. Oh, yeah, keep throwing <laughs> the kick. But, uh, but, yeah, it was a good fight. See, this was a, a good fight. You know, yeah, when they were going to was, the ground. Yeah. This, this was a good fight. So Rory's now moving up. I so, thought, uh, like, like, at times, times um, like, Rory, Rory has, a, like, great ground, ground and pound game. game. And, like, he, he was, was catching, catching him. Yeah, it was, like, um, I don't know I don't know what round, but it looked like he was mad and he was just ground and popping. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, he was trying to, like, finish him. I'm yeah. like, there you go. That's the Rory we need. Yeah, see, see I, I told, told you, bro. bro what did I tell, tell you? you? I told you Rory was gonna um, like tell Jesus I'm sorry and like come he was back gonna, strong. He, he was in a, he was in the Red King. He was um, um, Ares. Ares. That was his nickname before. Ares oh, yeah? is the god of war. Oh. That was his first nickname. Uh huh. Um, Ares. So that's he didn't bring a Red King. He brought Ares, Ares. back. <laughs> so now so he's now. moving on to fight Douglas Lima. Damn, I'm probably gonna take Douglas Lima in the rematch. Yeah. Probably Shit. am. I mean, I still, still got Rory, but it is, it is, it could go either way. way. It's just like the first fight. It yeah, was super close. It was close. So, yeah. So he's moving on. They haven't announced when that's gonna be, but probably what, like in three, four months, they'll probably do that that fight. Yeah, he, he said, said he wants to. to I might be wrong, but I think like the they were trying to book it in September. September. But Rory was like, no, like, I need more time to... Like, to recover. To recover, yeah. I mean, I'm glad he didn't... You know how he always, like, hurts, gets his nose hurt? Yeah. But, like, this fight, he... I mean, it didn't... I don't think he got his uh, his nose hurt, you know? Yeah. And that's good for him. Okay, next card is the... Is this Saturday? Musasi versus Lovato Jr. Good fight. Let's see the Aaron Chambers Good fight. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think this guy was like a reality star or something. I remember hearing them talk Aaron about that. Chalmers? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know I who he. he I, yeah, I, I, I seen a fight. He's, he's all right. Let me see here. Oh, Fabian Edwards. That's um, Ian Edwards. Ian Edwards. Uh, not Ian Edwards. I mean, Ooh, the he, comedian. He, <laughs> that's a sad <laughs> comedian. Oh, yeah, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Leon yeah, from the UFC. Leon Edwards. Is it Leon Edwards? Leon, Edwards. Leon Edwards. This is his brother. <laughs> Ian Edwards. Yeah. Oh, oh no wonder, dude. I was like, I saw his He picture. fought not that long ago. He fought like two months ago where he beat, knocked out that dude with a... With a he, he was on the ground and he was just throwing the, the kicks from the bottom. Uh, up kick. Oh, okay. Yeah, catch, caught the, the other guy. was stupid. Three times in a row. Uh-huh. He Got gets him. him. He goes back into this food's guard. He hits him again and he goes again. He Third gets hit, one. yeah. Then he stands up and knocks him out. Dude, Dude no, no wonder. wonder. Like, I saw the Fabian Edwards, uh, like, face, and I was like, what the hell? Like, this looks like Leon Edwards. Like, the, like, the, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? But then you're, like, the last name. Uh, yeah, well, right now that you told me, like, that it was uh, um, his brother. His brother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. Makes Seven and no. Um, he's fighting Jonathan Bosuko, seven to four. I don't know who the other guy is, so I'm going for Edwards here. I'm sure you're going for Edwards as well. Nah, I go, go for, for the guy. The other guy? With the no picture? picture? Yeah, All right. No picture guy. A beer? <laughs> All right, you got a beer. <laughs> what? A bet? Nah, no, I'm right. <laughs> Then you got Melvin Manhoff. What? Night heavyweight fight. He's, what, what the hell? hell? When, when did? He's been fighting. Remember, he got not, Joe Schilling fought him in Bellator here? MMA rules. 
You didn't oh, see that? Yeah. That was a long time ago. But, but they, they fought, fought in kickboxing, kickboxing too, right? Or no, it was uh, MMA. What the fuck? I guess I didn't see it. I, I saw that shit like six years ago. Who's, Who's the, the guy, guy that Joe Schilling fought in MMA, MMA and kickboxing? Oh, uh, was it, was it a so it was some, uh, yeah. He reminded me of Mashida because he's like Brazilian and Japanese. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ended up getting knocked out Damn, both times. what's his name? I forgot. I haven't even seen. I haven't seen him fight in, in Bellator in a long time. That dude, that knocked out Joe. Uh huh. Shit, I don't even know his name. I don't even remember. But if this is at light heavyweight. Manhof is old. You know, this is just a fun fight. Thirty and fourteen. Damn, that's in a, MMA. That's Manhof. A, that's a lot of fights for MMA. Yeah, for MMA, and he did. You know, he started in kickboxing. Yeah. Against uh, oh, Ken Calpinen, yeah. So think about Damn. it. So he probably how many so he has had. what uh, forty five fights in MMA. Forty five. He at least has minimum that amount in kickboxing. Probably more. Yeah, probably like fifty. But, yeah, so imagine a hundred fights combined. How much brain damage you have? <laughs> Plus the training. Uh, yeah. This I, know. Week, I know he trains hard. Yeah, from from Mike's gym. Mm-hmm. Where fucking what's his name? The guy with the Robin? bad temper. Badahari? Oh, Badahari. You know they're fucking crazy over there. Doesn't Van Roosmalen train there too? Or no, I don't that's know. another gym. I don't know. Never mind. But this, this is a fun fight. I'm going for Manhof. I haven't seen the other guy fight. He's taking a lot of damage, so we'll see how that goes. Then you got James Gallagher. He's back. I didn't even know he was fighting. He, he fought... Um, after he got knocked out by Ricky Bandejas, he he did he did end up um, fighting. So he did fight. He, I forgot he ended up fighting someone. I think he ended up submitting them. So he's he's back in the win column with one fight. Now he's fighting Jeremiah Labiano. Twelve and six. Yeah, twelve and six. Um, Not a bad record. He reminded me of that that other guy from the UFC that's all tatted up. I think he uh, fought Loboff once. Low ball. Yeah. Then he fought. Fuck. Who, did he, who else did he fight? He got he got laid out by someone. Oh, and Andre Philly. With the Philly with knocked him out. Uh, so that Asian guy. He was all tatted up as well. Yeah, yeah. He he trains at Alpha Male. Team Alpha Male. He has uh, plugs. But obviously during the fight. No, that's Andre Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not talking about him. No, there's some some Japanese guy in the UFC that's all tatted up that oh, I thought it was related. He to trains at Alpha Male also. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shoot, but he fought Lobov once. He, he um, have, have you seen, seen like an interview, interview with him? Or no, no. I well, just seen a fight. One of the, like, he, he was, was fa- fa- not famous, but he would like always say like, oh, like I, I love my bitches. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, something like that about talking, always talking about girls. I know who you're talking about though. Yeah, I thought it was him. It's like the <laughs> hairstyle, the long, uh-huh. long hairstyle. I'm going to take James Gallagher on this one. So this is a co-main event, I think. Oh, no. Just, uh, I don't, why is he feet? Oh, fe- I guess they just kind of feature fights. So 8-1 yeah, and one versus 12-6. and six. Yeah. Next one. Oh, you got Paul Ooh. Daly versus Eric Silva. Silva was from the UFC. Got cut. Eric Silva, too? Wait, Wait who would you say? say? No, that Eric Silva's coming from the UFC oh, to Bellator. Okay. This, is, say, okay, this is his first yeah. fight in Bellator. He came back. He came no. in Bellator. And didn't he he get hurt, right? He hasn't fought in Bellator. I think he has fought. Let's look it up. Pretty Eric sure. Silva. I mean, unless, unless like you said, like he got hurt. Because I think but he was supposed to fight, and he he ended up getting hurt. I don't think that would say. Oh, no, yeah, he did. Oh, lose. yeah, there you go. On, yeah, a few months ago. When was it? February? Yeah, 16. So he ended up losing by decision. I think Paul Daly's going to knock him out. Yeah. I mean, I mean they, they both have heavy strikes, strikes but I think Paul Daly is yeah. a better striker and heavier puncher. puncher. Yeah. <coughs> that's, that's a good, good fight, though. Yeah, that's a good fight. And a good, Damn, good fight. Daly has a lot of fights, too. Yeah, 40 and 17 and 2. Damn. Yeah, I got Paul Daly on that one. You got Gegard Mousasi. So this is a middleweight world title. So Gegard defended a title against Roy McDonald, right? Destroyed him. Now he's fighting Lovato Jr. 9-0. and 
for some reason, it seems like this is going to be a similar fight like the McDonald and Gracie fight. You, you think, think so? Because so? Lovato is it's good jiu jitsu. He's going to throw a lot of kicks, doesn't care, take him down. Musasi, the same. Like He's like similar fighter as Rory McDonald. Good striking, good jiu jitsu. And very good. He's like a, a smart fighter, right? He won't mm-hmm. go in for the kill right away. Yeah. Unless you know he hurt, he has you hurt uh, real bad. Forty five and six and two against nine and zero. Oh. Damn, big difference in experience. This, this is another, another guy, guy with a lot of experience. experience. Fuck, Damn. over fifty fights, and this guy is nine and zero. Oh. <laughs> six one, Musasi six three. I'm still gonna go with Musasi based on the just the experience. Experience over overall um, fight IQ, right? Lovato Jr., I think he's like 33 or something, and that fool looks 43. <laughs> <laughs> that fool looks too good. Yeah, Doesn't he, he look old? Yeah. yeah. He's like he's like he's been in wars in the gym. Mm, I, don't I don't think, think it's that. that. I, think I think he, he just looks, looks old. old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that dude looks old, man. But I, yeah, I think Gegard I mean, Musas is gonna is gonna take it. it. Um it could go de- decision or TKO for Musasi. That that's how I see it going. You? Yeah, I mean, I I think uh, I go. I'm going with Musashi definitely I, because of his uh, experience. Just like like you said, like look at this. This guy has over 50 fights, and Lovato barely has nine. You know. And plus, he had some kickboxing fights as well. Yeah, I mean, experience doesn't always like win you the fight, but yeah, but he has a skill. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to the the Bellator one. This you is mean, on. You mean the UFC one? Oh yeah, <laughs> no, the UFC the one. one. UFC one, ESPN Plus. So starting now, four p.m. Oh, that's strange. Where, where are they, they having it? Or where was it, it going to be at? at? Green in though? the U.S. That's so weird, huh? It's weird. Four p.m. Hmm. So we got um, Brian Barberena versus Randy Brown. Ryan, Ryan Barbreno was, was that, that guy, guy who didn't quit, quit right? Well, yeah, against Vicente a, Luque. Yeah, All his he fights, he's like, he's just a very tough guy. Tough yeah, to put put away. Put away, yeah. Randy Brown, I don't remember his last fight. Do you know who he is? Uh, i seen him fight. i seen oh, him fight okay. maybe like two times, but not as much. Um, I mean, I don't know who who, who here, because I don't, I don't remember if, if Randy's more of a striker or wrestler. But Brian's a, a tough guy. Flip flip a coin here. I, I don't know. <laughs> flip a coin. I'm going to the co-main event. John Lineker and Rob Font. Um, here, damn, this is a good fight. I think I'm gonna go with Rob Font on this one. I've, I've never. never I. John, John Lineker is like one of those. Well, for, for me, like if. if I know who he is, you know, if you uh, ask me who he is, then I'll who? tell you, John Lineker. Like, I know who he is, but, like, ask no, me, you like, seen if, fight? if I remember any of his fights. Damn. Like, no. like I know he uh I thought it would be the other down. way around. Nah, like, you Rob see, Font, too. I know who Rob Font is. Like, I'll see a picture of him, like, oh, that's Rob Font. But, like, no, I don't know. Oh, no. John Lineker. I see John Lineker I know fight a, so many it's times. It's right? Yeah. 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 i seen him fight, like, probably most of his fights in the UFC. I mean, he's a knockout artist, right? Yeah, yeah he's I a brawler. That, yeah. He just goes in there and he just swings. I know that, but like I said, I don't know. I just, I don't think I've ever, uh, I, I, I know I've seen one of his fights before, but I just don't recall any of them. Or I can't tell you like who he's fought. Yeah. What, has he fought Dillashaw? Uh, yeah, he okay, ended up okay. fighting Dillashaw. He ended up um, losing by decision. Dillashaw just outpointed him, you know? Just footwork, and this would, this would couldn't touch him. All right. Um, so I think I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take Ralph Fawn on this one. I think the game plan, stay away, pick him apart. Um, John okay. Lineker was crazy. They were talking about a title shot when he was on the run. TJ Dillashaw put a stop to that. Ever since, he's just been like, um, like on and off. Yeah, on and off. Like, I mean, because his style, his style is just swinging, like, for the fences. Uh-huh. That's not gonna. You're not gonna get to a to a title to, shot. Yeah, you could champ. probably get a title shot, right? But you ain't gonna keep up with all the other fighters if if you're yeah. like that. 
like if you're not adapting. Yeah, if you're just trying to broad knock people out, dude, that shit was in the fucking like early two thousands, right? Yeah, you get away with it. Mm-hmm. Now, people are just gonna evolve, man. Yeah, that reminds me uh, that uh, I was listening to uh, Chell uh, talk to uh, uh, Dillashaw. They like had an interview or oh, yeah. someone I've like a sit it. down. Yeah, like this past weekend. And they were talking about like Uriah Favors comeback, um, and TJ was like, "Oh, you know, like good for him, whatever." But like, I I think he should have just stayed retired. Like they were talking about how Uriah Favor never really uh, lost his um, how do I say um, like his mojo. Yeah, you know, he's still in I, there. I'm just fucking around. I don't know why I said that. Well, I <laughs> mean, like- kind of, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Like <laughs> you're saying, I don't know why he retired. Or what? No, they're saying that. Um, is that what I said? That's what I'm trying to figure no, out. No, basically, like Cho said, um, he could have still stayed in the game and never retired, cause just cause he was never like he's always been like an athlete, or you know, or he's always been in shape. In other words, well, he didn't stay there because he wasn't going to be champ, so he just no, didn't want to be a journey guy. No, yeah, but like my point is, they were talking about how he could have still fought in the UFC because he was just always in shape. Yeah. But then Dillashaw was like, yeah, that's true. But, you know, he's 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 never adapted to, um, to like, a new style or, like, to, like, these new guys. You know, these new guys will, like, pick them apart. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much, like, stuff that these new guys are doing that uh, Uriah Faber will not be able to, like, keep up with, you know? Because he has that weird style, you know? He's never adapted or, like... Changed then, it up. Yeah, changed it up. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, and also it's just, um, I, I don't know, I guess you're just getting older too. Your yeah. body's not the same. <clears throat> um, But, no, but at least he would um, he would try everything, you know? He'll try to knock you out. He'll try to submit you, ground and pound. You know, he was more well-rounded than Lineker. Lineker just tries to knock you out. Mm-hmm. You know that that's a that's a difference of them, uh, but we got Rob Fawn on this one. Uh, talking about the interview, uh, they were talking about the EPO, right? Uh-huh. When when Cho asked him, and it wasn't even set up. He was like, "Oh, we're gonna talk about it right now, Cho." And then um, the other show was like, "Yeah, we'll talk about it." And he said that he started taking the EPO once his body was shutting down during training because it was his first time making one twenty five. And he was working out hard, but then his he was he just wasn't recovering. His body wasn't the same. So that's when he said, um, you know, I knew what I was doing, and I decided to to take to take it. Um, and then that's when he got caught. Yeah. So do we believe him that I kind I don't know, you know, I'm like uh, kind of makes sense, right? Like that once his body started shutting down, then he decided to take it to to take it right he's probably like fuck it like i'm not gonna pull out so i mean it, i don't know it, so you're saying like it could be that he was taking it before or, no or you or there that there, there there was another reason for why he took it no he took it just because of according to him because of that no yeah but you're saying like you don't know whether to believe him or not. yeah i'm like oh, i don't know if i should uh-huh. believe him so you're saying there might be like another reason an actual other reason why he for why he took it no well the other only reason is he's been taking it for a long time he's just been a cheater for a no long like time. i mean or maybe like it was really just this one fight but he just wanted to like before his buddy as he claims before like um before his body uh was like shutting down maybe he took it like before like he even started like the cut or anything uh just to make it easier you know Maybe, be, be, but but he was nah. I either either he was cheating the whole time, his whole career, or he, or to me he took it. You know, once his body was shutting down, mm-hmm. that's how I see it. Like, yeah, you 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 just started taking it when your body shut down, or you've been taking it for a long time. Yeah, but damn, that says a lot. You know, he that says that means that he can't make one twenty five. Oh no, one twenty five. I mean. I remember when him saying he was gonna cut down. I'm like, dude, how are you gonna cut down if you're you're already shredded at 135? Mm-hmm. 125 is gonna be too much. So that's yeah, probably sorry. why he ended up doing it. We're gonna see when he comes back how he looks at 135. Mm-hmm. 
we're gonna know if he was clean his whole career or not. Yeah. That's only what we're gonna find well, out. Well, I think they did tests, like they ran tests, like from samples of like fights before, and I think they're clean. I may be wrong, but I don't remember. That. I don't know. Yeah, but I, we're we're gonna see how he looks when he comes back. Hey, yeah. was he really on shit or not? Was it just this one fight? Yeah. Then you have the the main event, uh, Korean Zombie versus Moicano. Korean Zombie, his last fight was against Yair. Yeah, yeah. It was because it was a war. Is over a year ago. That's the reason why. No, it was this no? year. It, it was, was this year. Yeah, in the beginning. Actually, never mind. Oh no, it was this year. Yeah, it wasn't last year because we did talk about it on the podcast. And we started doing this podcast like in December. November. November. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it hasn't been a year. Um, but yeah, but it was a war. That's why he's finally back, and Yair isn't. Yeah, I know. Because it's a it's a war, and, and you know who was talking about that? Chell Sonnen. He was all like, like, um, if it's not a title fight, why why is the main event five rounds? Oh yeah, we talked about this yeah. last time. Because of this, like, dude, you have a war, and then you can't fight for for a long time, and you get paid the like, same. You don't get paid extra. They yeah. should. Yeah, that, that is bullshit. I mean, for the fans, it's good. If it's, especially if it's a, like. Uh, a great matchup, but like this one, but yeah, that that does suck for the fighters. That's pretty stupid. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do overtime, but we ain't paying you more. Yeah, Damn, that's that does suck. But um, but Moicano, he's coming off a loss to Jose Aldo. Yeah, he got stopped. Wow, that was his last fight. Was yeah, I too. Yeah, I haven't Not seen too long ago. Yeah, but. Uh, I'm gonna take Moicano on this one, um, just because he's more. I guess he's been more active, and he's a younger fighter. Um, Korean Zombie's been fighting for a while. Korean Zombie's good, though. He's he has a um, he's good. He has a good um, just good rounded all overall. Yeah. Moicano's um, you know like your typical Brazilian fighter, right? Muay Thai guy with Jiu Jitsu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think I think he's gonna end up taking it on this. Yeah, I got Moicano. Hopefully, uh, Chan Sung Jun's, uh like he did, he's not coming in with any uh, injuries from the past fight. I mean, I doubt it just because like it's been a while since the uh, Yair fight. Yeah, but, and he just got. And he, I mean, he got knocked out. Yeah, he got knocked out. Yeah, cold. that was it. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like um, what well, didn't seem like any other part of his body was was fucked up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, man. So that that's it. We got Moicano on this one. So we have Moicano and Musasi as the main events um, for the yeah for the for the fight card this weekend. Hey, did you watch so, the oh, the All oh, Star Weekend? See, I was all like, oh, is there boxing? But no, there's there's nothing right now. We gonna. Wa- I mean, uh, did you see the? You probably didn't see it, but the grappling match. No, uh, I just heard that they Pettis went to a decision. And, yeah, Romero won by submission. And I was watching yesterday on YouTube the Patty, the oh, Supreme Patty on the Patty. on the boxing one. Oh, I did. It's on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Oh, I yeah. just put it. He looks decent. Like you could tell he's been training. Hey, no, yeah. Like my friends, like will send me shit like on Instagram, like uh, posts like from him, and like yeah, his hands like don't look half bad. Yeah, like that, when he was hitting honest. the mitts, like it didn't look that good. But actual in the when he was boxing the other guy, he looked all right. Yeah. Well, I like even on the mitts, like for like I mean, I don't know how long he's been training. Right. But like, I'm sure it hasn't been years. And like for the amount of time that he's been training, like even like hitting the mitts, I was like I was impressed. I was yeah. like, Oh shit, like okay, like he's taking this serious. Yeah. yeah, I was more impressed when he was actually boxing, you know? <laughs> Cause in the mitts when I saw him, I'm like, damn, he's yeah, I'm like, all right, his first fight, right? And Usually people look better on the mitts than yeah, right when they're fighting, fight. but this was the other way around. I thought he actually looked better in the match. In the match, because he was he kept his composure. Oh, that's good. Yeah, like sometimes he was swinging wild, right? The other guy was the other guy was was worse tech technique wise, but he was like throwing the jab and like reacting good, mm-hmm. keeping his hands up. Um, it was weird. Sometimes he was, um, he uh, it was in the first round that if we're swinging and he's all like, "Come on, hit me!" with his hands down. <laughs> Patty. Yeah. <laughs> and they were boxing. It, it was all right. I think it was like three rounds, three uh-huh. two minute rounds. I think. Oh, okay. that was. Or fast or then. five rounds, two minutes each. Uh-huh. But there were two minutes because it was like amateur uh-huh. boxing fight. 
I'm sure they still got paid though. Oh yeah, they got paid. Um, I don't know how much was a uh, paper. I think it was like thirty bucks or something. Thirty uh, or twenty dollars. Twenty, yeah. 20 bucks. Oh, but it was for charity though. Yeah, it was because I am um, because Mazwa talked about it. Yeah, that's the only reason I found that it was charity. Um, but that's yeah, funny though. Did the other guy like? Did he look like he was in shape? Um, uh, he looked like he was in better shape than um, Supreme Patty. Patty. Yeah. Uh, but the technique wise was terrible. Uh-huh. I remember in the in the picture, the poster that I saw, I thought the other guy was an actual fighter. Even the way he was like posing, with posing. His hands up. Yeah, I'm like, and then you see Supreme Patty, like he didn't look like even with his hands how yeah. he was posing. Uh-huh. So, oh, with his were his like knuckles facing forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's an Irish guy. Oh yeah, like, the Irish fighting style. Um, well, back in the day. Yeah, uh, so he ended up. I oh decision? the other yeah the other guy ended up beating him by decision. Be Patty? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. What? Do you think it was like a good? De- I mean, uh, yeah, a good decision. Um, you know what? Probably because the other guy was throwing more. That's probably mm. that's probably what happened. And he was, um, he was putting the pressure more on Patty. Patty. I think okay. that's why. But it was a close fight. It it was um it was entertaining. It wasn't like <laughs> oh this is stupid. Like I was like, hey, it's entertaining to watch these guys box. You know, yeah. It, it was way better than seeing two guys in the street fight. Uh-huh. That that <laughs> like I thought it was gonna be like that. Like two guys in the street, like oh, whack, right? Do you like watching those videos, like street fights? I don't, to be honest. Like, well, I just if it's gonna be a knockout, yeah, I don't mind watching it. Even then, I don't know. Like, I mean. Yeah, I don't. I don't like when like people like swing wildly and well, like don't get me wrong. Like I'll like in the like in on TV like MMA like uh, kickboxing Muay Thai whatever. Like if you're swinging wildly, like it's not obviously not smart. But like I'll watch it, you know. I'll be like entertained. But like if it's a street fight, I'm just like ah oh, nah. Like these guys suck. They're just swinging wildly, you know. Like I don't know. Like for some reason, I don't. I don't really like watching street fights. Like those street I mean, fight compilations. Yeah, I mean I haven't watched them in a long time. Uh-huh. Because you know I don't care about them, but no. Nah, but if I if I see it, like if I'm on Instagram and I'm scrolling uh-huh. and I see like two guys fight, I'm gonna stop and watch it. <laughs> I won't because it's only like thirty seconds or uh-huh. whatever, right? So I'm gonna watch whatever happens there, the the knockout. But yeah, but you know, obviously they're they're terrible. But those punches could could land because there's you you don't even know where the fuck they're coming from. Yeah. They're so wild. That's why there's a lot of like knockouts in street fights. Yeah, because you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, right. You're blocking away and it's fuck just coming out of nowhere. They're throwing that uh those overhands that Archuleta threw, and his oh yeah last fight <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah that's basically yep, all yeah that throwing. one that's all they're throwing. It. But and there are some guys that fight wild, but they they know how to f- street fight. You could tell there's some guys that know. Then some guys that they have no idea what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, like Masvidal. And Not, like Masvidal. Oh, yeah. And like, yeah, uh, but Masvidal, even in the street fights, fights, he had a technique. He, he was good. Yeah, but well, exactly your point. Like, like No, but you could tell he would actually train like hitting mitts. Oh, what? What did he train at Yeah, that you could tell like the way he was fighting. I mean, there's other guys in the street that they know how to fight, but they're still wild. Mm-hmm. But they like... They have good head movement. They'll move. They, they don't have ring experience, but they have uh, street fight experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. So they, you know, they know what's up. Um, but yeah, but that's it. We'll see you guys. Um, yep, next week. Peace.